Hello everyone, in this video I am going to show you how to easily and thoroughly put together a group frequency distribution table. I will show you how to solve for the class interval, to set class limit, the lower and the upper, to count the frequency, find the midpoint or class mark, the class boundaries, the lower and the upper, cumulative frequency and relative frequency in decimal and in percent. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's use this example. The following are the ages of 50 students in statistics class. Use seven classes and create a complete frequency distribution table using Google Sheets. For step number one, we will sort out this data in Google Sheets. So let's go and put all the numbers in just one column. Here we have 30, 39 if you want to put the numbers by row or by column it doesn't matter for as long as you put all the numbers in just one column. So I started with 30, 44, 45, 31. I put each number by row again by column or by row it is up to you for as long as you put all the numbers in just one column. So let us sort this out. You can actually check my video on how to sort out data from least to greatest or from greatest to least. Highlight column A, right click. You could see here sort from A to Z and that's it. This is already arranged from 20 which is the lowest number and the highest number or the highest age is 54. So if you want to put the table in another sheet, it's up to you, but I can copy this and put this template and let's paste it here. So you could easily see the numbers and we could count the frequency. Second step, find the class interval. The formula in finding the class interval is highest value minus the lowest value divided by k. Remember that k is the number of classes and that is given in the problem. What if the number of classes is not given? You can actually decide how many number of classes you want or there is a formula. But if this is given, let us just solve and find for the class interval. CI stands for class interval. In the sorted data, the highest number is 54 and the lowest number is 20. Equal sign, since we will subtract and divide, we have to put it in a parenthesis. The highest score, which is 54, minus the lowest score is 20, close parenthesis. Divide by number of classes again is given, which is 7, and then hit enter. And there you go. So we have 4.85. But we have to round this up to whole number, decrease decimal places until this is rounded up to whole number. Let us highlight this so we know that that is the value of the class interval. For step number three, we will find the class limits, the lower and the upper. To do that, we will copy the lowest age, which is 20. And then go to the next box and the formula is equal. Then we have sum, open parenthesis. We have 20 and we need to add the class interval 5 plus 5, close parenthesis and hit enter. So 20 plus 5 is 25. And to complete, just drag it down and there you go. So for each lower limit, we will add 25. So for the lower limit, we will add 5, starting from the lowest age. 20 plus 5, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, and 50. For the upper limit, the number comes before 25, of course, is 24. And we will do the same formula in the next box, equals, type, sum, open parenthesis, the first upper limit, 
plus the interval is 5, close parenthesis and hit enter. And then from 29, drag it to the last. So this is 24 plus 5, 29 plus 5, 34 until the last one. Let us count the number of frequencies fall from 20 to 24, 25 to 29 until the last class limit. So let's start from 20 to 24. We have 20, 22. So there are two and let us change the color. So we cannot count that twice. So there are two. Next, from 25 to 29, one, two, three, there are three. Change the color again and then put three. From 30 to 34, count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and thirteen. And then the color is yellow, and let's put 13 here. From 35 to 39, let us count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. There are 18 people fall from the ages 35 to 39. Then 40 to 44. We have 1. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So there are 8 people. How about from 45 to 49? 1, 2, 3, 4. There are 4 and lastly from 50 to 54 is one and two and before we go to the midpoint let us find the total number of frequency which is n that is simply equal then type sum open parenthesis hit this shift arrow down until you go from there, close parenthesis, and hit enter. So there are 50, and we call that n, or the total number of frequency, which is 50. Next, let us find the class midpoint, or the class mark, that is simply the average of the lower limit and the upper limit. So to get the average, that is simple addition and divided by the total. So we have equal, then open parenthesis, 20 plus the upper limit 24, close parenthesis, divide by 2, and hit enter. And that is 22. So you can actually add all of them, but we can just simply drag it down here and we have 22, 27, until 52. So to check that, 50 plus 54 equals 104 divided by 2 is 52. How about the class boundary? Class boundaries are divided into two, the lower and the upper boundary. As you can see, I changed this to color green because all the numbers for the lower class boundary will be coming from the lower limit. And the formula in finding the class boundary is to simply subtract from each lower limit. So let's do that. Equal sign 20 minus 0 0.5 and hit enter. So 20 minus 0 0.5 is 19.5 and just drag it down until there to check. 50 minus 0 0.5 is 49.5. So let's go to the upper boundary. This is color red, meaning to say that we will get all the numbers from the upper limit. In the lower boundary, 
we subtract 0 0.5 in the upper boundary, we will add 0 0.5. So, equals 24 plus 0 0.5 and hit enter. And then, just simply drag it until the last and we have these boundaries. To check, the upper limit 54 plus 0.5 is 54.5. We have cumulative frequency and to find cumulative frequency, this is color orange, meaning to say that we will get the answer from this column. So cumulative frequency is a successive addition of this. Let us now find the cumulative frequency. To find cumulative frequency, we will copy the first value of frequency, which is 2. Then go to the next box, equal sign, type sum, open parenthesis, click the first number, then plus the second number, close parenthesis, and hit enter. And then after that, just drag it until the last, and there you go. If you will check that, we have 2 plus 3 equals 5, then 5 plus 13 equals 18, 18 plus 18 is 36, 36 plus 8 is 44, 44 plus 4 is 48, and 48 plus 2 is 50. How would you know if cumulative frequency is correct? Look at the end, the total frequency is 50, and we have 50. How about the relative frequency in decimal form? This is orange because we will get all the answer from the frequency. To find the relative frequency in decimal, equal sign. This is very simple. A portion divide by the total equals or to get the second one equals part divide by the total equals. So you have to do that manually. Equals then 13 divide by 50 equals. Next, 18 divide by 50. Then, 8 divide by 50 equals 4 divide by 50 and lastly 2 divide by 50 and there you have it and to find the relative frequency in percent this is just simply equals 0 0.04 times 100 percent then enter so for this just drag all the way here and to check 0 0.04 in percent move two decimal places it's 4 6 26 36 16 8 and 4 how would you know if your relative frequency is correct if this is in decimal the total number must be equal to 1, so let's sum it up. Equals, type sum, open parenthesis, hit 0 0.4, shift, arrow down, close parenthesis, and enter. So the total is 1, and 1 in percent is, of course, 100%, but to make sure, equals, sum, open parenthesis, hit 4, shift arrow down until 4, close parenthesis, and hit enter. So 1 in percent is 100 percent. So this is how you construct a complete frequency distribution table using Google Sheets. And if you think that this video is informative, please give me a thumbs up. And please consider yourself subscribed and don't forget to share this video for those who needs it. And thank you so much for watching. Have a great day 
and see you again. Bye-bye. Mm-hmm.